May June 2024, Paper 2, Variant 1. Question 1A. So this question uh, is about the colors of the halogen. Uh, so there are three halogens uh, in the table, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Uh, for these uh, group 17 uh, halogens, they are quite special because this is the only group the elements that can exist in the three phase so it exists uh, in the gas liquid and solid so for chlorine we know that it's in gas form the color is a green color so we, it's a green gas bromine is a liquid and it's a brown liquid iodine is a solid and it's a black solid or you can say dark gray so these these are the things that you must know uh, the, the colors of this halogen part B state the trend in the volatility of the halogens chlorine bromine and iodine explain your answer now first you need to know uh, what is uh, volatility uh, volatility is the substance uh, so whether it's a liquid or solid so it can vaporize or it can turn to gas easily right so high volatility means the substance easier to form gas and the volatility now we can uh, relate to the intermolecular force uh, which is the van der Waals force so means in this part B, first you need to state the trend. So means down the group, the volatility increase or decrease. Then you explain why. And the explanation you must relate to the intermolecular force or when there was force. So the statement is down the group, down the groups, the volatility of halogens decreases means the tendency to form gas or vaporize uh, is decreases and this volatility now is affected by the intermolecular force and intermolecular force is because of the numbers of electron so the first point that you need to uh, relate or you need to mention is the electrons so after the statement then you need to uh, use the numbers of electrons because when down the group the numbers of electrons is getting more or you can say more electron shells means size is larger so means this point is about the size when down the group the numbers of electron is small more electron shells and the size is larger when the size is larger for example uh, in this uh, drawing when the size larger down the group so we know that the ID ID forces will be stronger means iodine is going to have the strongest ID ID among these three halogen that's why it exists as a solid means as compared to the bromine and chlorine, iodine is less likely or not really as easy as the chlorine and bromine to form gas because of the intermolecular force. So, second point that you must, uh, of course, uh, to to mention is uh, when there is more electron, means size is larger. Therefore, the strength. Of the instantaneous dipole induced dipole uh, or we call IDID increases uh, therefore it's harder to form gas okay that's the part B part C iodine is made by reacting uh, bromine with the sodium iodide okay means this is a reaction between bromine and the iodide part one construct ionic equations for the reactions of bromine with sodium iodide 
So because it's mentioned ionic, so you no need to involve the sodium ion. So you just use iodide. Because we know that bromine is the more reactive elements in the this uh, uh, group 17 compared to iodine. So therefore, bromine is the one that more likely to gain electron. So once it gains electron, if you form bromide. That's why when bromines react with the iodide, bromines will try to gain electron from iodide and the bromines will turn to or reduce to bromide. And the iodide is the one that gives or releases electron and it will oxidize to the iodine. So this is a redox reaction. Uh, where the name of the reaction is a displacement reaction. So we say that the bromine displaces iodine from iodide solution. Okay, again, so we say that bromine displaces iodine from iodide solution. So the bromine it will form bromide. For part two, state the role of bromine in the reaction. Explain your answer. Uh, of course, bromine itself get reduced, uh, as you can see from this uh, oxidation number. Uh, oxidation number of the bromine is from zero to negative one, negative one. So means itself get reduced. When the elements undergo reduction, so means it's oxidizing agent. Means it will oxidize others. In this reaction, is oxidized iodide. So it's very obvious that bromine is an oxidizing agent because it's oxidized iodide to iodine. And after that, you just explain using the oxidation number or the change in oxidation number. So because it's increased the oxidation number of iodide, or you can say that it's removed electrons from iodide. Right. So uh, the half equation is this, because the bromines gains electron to form bromide and the electrons must obtain from the iodide. So iodide will release the electrons and these electrons will gain by the bromine. Part D, concentrated sulfuric acid is added to separate samples containing equal amounts of sodium chloride, sodium bromide, sodium iodide. All three samples initially react to produce the hydrogen's halides, means it will form HCl, HBr, and HI. Part 1. Write an equation to describe the acid-base reactions that occur when concentrated sulfuric acid reacts with sodium bromide. So means it's one you to give this equation. The sodium bromide reacts with the H2SO4 will form the this uh, sodium hydrogen sulfate or the NaHSO4 with the HBr. So this is the acid base reaction. Why? Uh, it's better to use the uh, ionic equation. Uh, means the ones the only with bromides to explain so you can understand better okay the bro the bromide is the one that gains electrons from the sulfuric acid so as you can see from here bromide gains proton sorry protons from h2so4 and after that the bromide will form the hydrogen's bromide hbr so the bromide now is a proton acceptor. So we know that this is the bronsted rory based. The H2SO4 is the proton donor. So therefore it's a bronsted rory acid. So this is acid base reaction because it's a reaction between the this base and acid. And of course, uh, if you want to know the 
conjugate uh, acid and base okay this is the one since now we know that the bromide is a base means the HBr is a conjugate acid why because HBr actually can donate the protons to the HSO4 negative here right so if let's say H2SO4 now is acid so the HSO4 negative here it must be the conjugate base of this acid because it can gain proton from HBr to form back the H2SO4 right okay so part one already done uh, now is part two deduce which sodium halides this one this one or this one produce largest percentage yield of hydrogen halides when concentrated sulfuric acid is added explain your answer by considering the relative reactivity of the halides ion as reducing agent this is very important reducing agent okay so first uh, let's start with the equations uh, then you can understand better um, for this uh, <clears throat> sodium chloride, sodium bromide, and sodium iodide, when they react with the H2SO4, um, they will form all these products. For the sodium chloride here, after it reacts with this uh, H2SO4, it will form the NaHSO4 with HCl. And this is the only reactions that happen. The HCl will not further react with the H2SO4 because HCl, the bond strength is stronger and it's harder to break because of the size of this uh, uh, halogen, the chlorine, right? So which is smaller, so the bond length is shorter, bond strength is stronger, and therefore HCl cannot be oxidized by the H2SO4 means there is no reactions between the H2SO4 with this HCl. For the sodium bromide, after it reacts with the H2SO4, it will form the same salt and HBr. HBr, the bond strength is weaker, so it can react with H2SO4 further, right, and form bromine SO2 and H2O so it means bromide will form bromine the sulfate will form the sul uh, sulfur dioxide means HBr here will use up means the percentage of HBr will be lesser why because there is a, another reactions between the HBr with H2SO4 means once the HBr produced it will further react with H2SO4 it will cause the percentage of this HBr lesser. For the sodium iodide, it will form after reacts with H2SO4, it will form the same salt and the HI. So the HI here, because the bond length is longest, bond strength is weakest, and this one easily reacts with the H2SO4. And of course it will get oxidized and form iodine all this iodine so the HI will form iodine all the way the H2SO4 as oxidizing agent is self gas reduced will form the SO2 sulfur and H2S means the HI that produced here percentage will be lowest much lower than the others why? Because the HI that produce is going to react with H2SO4 and form many of these products. So therefore, we know that the percentage of the hydrogen halides that produce must be this one, HCl. Because HCl not further reacts with the H2SO4. Right? That's a concept. Okay, so therefore, identity of the sodium halides must be sodium chloride. Okay, explanation is very easy. Uh, because the chloride is not a, a strong uh, enough reducing agent to reduce H2SO4 because it cannot react with the H2SO4. So we say that it's not really a good or strong reducing agent. But for the bromide, 
an iodide from what I explained just now. So we know that they can react with the H2SO4 and therefore they are the stronger reducing agent because it can reduce H2SO4 to other products like sulfur, SO2 and H2S. Right, so that's the explanation. That's all. Thank you.